Oops, I had to make this picture frame. I'll click on this. So I just made a cube, I scaled it down. A little thickness for the picture frame. C to make it editable. And then I'll um, go to one of these components and then I'll do a right click. Extrude. Enter. Click, drag this in. Click one time. I'll click again. Click again. Click again. Click again. And then I'll do a right click, extrude. And I'll push this in, right? Because it's going to be my, my photo. I'll press nine to quit. Then I'll do UL. And I'll just select, depending on what your picture frame is supposed to look like, select this one. E, I'll move it out. And then this one right here, and do another UL. Uh, Just trying to get that edge. It's hard to get these faces for whatever reason. I'm trying to get this loop. I'll just go to this edge right here. Get this one instead. And I can just press T and move this like out or in. I can do this one. So I just double click on that one. Looks like that, right? So this is looking good, right? So press nine to quit. Let's do a UL, get this right here. Shift, shift, shift. Uh, and this one, shift, shift. We can do a bevel. It just depends on what your reference looks like. So let's do a bevel. Just bring it in a little bit more. So it's cool. Let's do nine to quit. So we got this and that's gonna be our picture frame. Now, right here in the center, this right here is going to be whatever our picture is going to be. Um, so let's right click and do split, right? So now it's its its own piece, right? Now, what we're going to do is we'll put something on this one, right? So this is the frame. So this is the poster, poster pick. And this is the frame. So for the picture, I'm going to do um, All right, so I have my image. And just put it in my folder real quick. Desktop. Where's that? Okay, right here. All right, so I got my image picked out. I'm just going to go to Corona and then I'll do it to Fizz Legacy Material. Click on this. Now, let me go to diffuse Click on this right here. And let me get my picture, right? So we have it and I'm going to place it where well, I can just go over here. I can go to a uh, poster picture, all right? So y'all know who that is. All right, um, let's go to cubic now, all right? And if we go to length U and length V, we can scale this up or scale this down. Also, what we can do is if it's cubic, we can um, click on this and we can scale it. No, no, no. You have to click on the actual. Frame, I'm trying to see if I can get the, the thing to come up with the coordinates. 
oh no, I have to click on this. That's what it is, All right? So you have to click on this. And then while you have your uh, material selected, you go to cubic. Now we can go over here and scale this like up or down. All right. So let's scale like this. And then it says tile. So that means that it's got like some, uh, it repeats it. Only thing is our picture was like letterbox. So this is why it's like this. If you want to, you can select both of these. Press R to rotate. Click shift to 90. I thought both of them were gonna move. Click shift. No, no, no. Why is my frame not moving? Oh, it's still on the still on the picture. That's why. So let me just go back here. I'll actually click on the object, click on both of these, click shift. Now we have this type of frame. Now I'll click on this, click on my UV selection, click shift. Now we make this one 90. And we can now place them and T to scale. Like I said, the size of well, your photo matters and the orientation. You just like fit them in here. Cool, now let's double click on this to make a higher resolution preview. Go to 2048, so it looks a little bit crispier. Yeah, that's that crisp. All right. So now let's go to the. We can go to Google or we can go to textures.com. Let's go and sit ahead and get us some wood, right? So if I go to wood down here, it has different types of wood. We can go to, like, say, fine wood and get something kind of nice. for our wood frame. Let's get this, right? Go over here, I'll get a large one, free. Got it, download it. Now let me go to my... Wood, so all I gotta do now is put it in my folder. Just drag it in over here. Corona legacy material, double click on it. Uh, wood frame. Or I can just put like a regular material on it, you know? So if I go to this and I go to frame, oh, what am I doing? If I go to this and I put on my frame. Let's say for whatever reason, I didn't want to put it a wood texture. You can just go ahead and adjust it and put something, you know, here but I want something on it, right? So let me double click again, go to the three dots. Let me choose this textures.com wood, let's press no. So we have this now. Um, and the same thing, we select our texture, we select this over here, the texture tab, and then we can go to UVW mapping and let's do uh, cubic. Or we can do flat, we can even do flat, I think. Nah, no, flat ain't working, let's just do cubic. Or frontal, let's see what that, yeah. No, <laughs> stick with cubic. So the more we scale it, the more it scales out, the more it scales in. It also repeats itself because it's on um, tile. So you'll know if you've like gone too small or gone too far. And you can see the edge where it cuts off. This is looking good. 
as always, double click, go to preview, and then 2048. I'm not sure, I've never had it slow down, but I'm thinking it's on like default so that it can keep uh, things going nice and fast. So. Let's move our frame now. So frame poster pick Alt G will will poster. Let's move it over. And so this technique you you could also use for the um, the rug as well, or just a regular poster or whatever you're gonna do. If you're gonna make a TV all this stuff. So let me just do this physical material. I'm just gonna drag this onto these walls just to do one more. Let's do this for the floor, just something real quick. Turn on our light again, see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit shifted to the to the right. Whoa, wait, wait. Why is that? Oh yeah, because the picture cut off. So in a case like this, we'll just go over here to frame. Go to the poster pick, click on this, just move it on over. It's hard to tell, but there's a part where it gets, uh, it like kind of stretches. It's just hard to tell in this pick, I guess, because of the background. there we go additionally we could just make this top part and then put like a texture on it with the top and the bottom well, let's just just do that real fast and end this right so like let's say i want a more accurate um wood texture what i can do is i can just click on this right here go to my faces and I'll just split this out. So I'll go to this one, take these, or, you know, because we didn't put too many divisions on it, we can select this right here, shift, select this, and then we can do right click, split. So it means that's that part of the frame, and that's the other part, right? And so with this one, Go to textures.com just to show you what I mean. We can go get a another kind of wood where we can actually see the grain a bit more. I'll see this one, right? Bit low resolution. And since it's low resolution, let's go to Google. Go wood. Wood texture. Go to images. Filter. Oh, I thought this was Google. Yeah. All right. Try not to get one with the vignettes. That means the darker areas. Let's just get ourselves. They said, I just want this grain to show like this, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. See this one, right? Save image. Go ahead, save it. It's in the folder. 
Now go over here. So this is frame. I'll just delete this. Delete this. Double click. Name this wood. Uh, wood grain. Right. Oh wait, I chose the wrong material. Corona. Legacy material. Oh, this is our Corona material. And then I'll go to this, get the wood grain, take this, put this frame. I just name it vert for vertical. And I'll select the thing. I mean, select it, select this. So this is just a way to cheat it without going to Photoshop. We'll go to Cubic. And if we rotate it, we can kind of like see which way the grain's going. So we'll just make it the long ways. Let me click shift. 90. Now it's right on top of this. Cool, now I can copy the material right here, put it on this one. Or is for horizontal, E to rotate, I click shift. 90, we have this one. And it's repeating, so I think it's already on tile, so it'll be all right. Now, if we do another render, should look a bit normal. Oh yeah, forgot to do this. Oh no, I don't think it should matter in the render at all. But yeah, but from your scene, it'll be so far back, you won't be able to see the grain. But that's how you get a more accurate, I guess, thing with the grain. This picture was low resolution, so it's not looking super crisp. But for out here, it is. So you do that to your floor and everything else, it'll look nice. And I like this, I like to like go through and see the, see the progress. So that's how you make a picture frame. And the same process will be for the poster as well.